What's wrong with the brontosaur? Yeah, why does he look so sad? Oh dear, his skin is very warm. Is he sick? Maybe he has a fever. I don't think so. He's just hot and tired from all the sunshine. <gasps> That's why he likes this tree. He's not hogging old Shady because he loves apples. It's because he's trying to stay cool. He needs the shade. We were so caught up in thinking about ourselves in that scrumptious, mouth-watering, delectable pie that we didn't take the time to see what he really needed. We're, We're sorry. sorry. A big brontosaur like you needs lots of shade on a day like this, don't you? I have an idea. Let's make him a bigger, better place to keep cool. Yeah, a shady spot big enough for a big, friendly brontosaur. Let's do this! Yeehaw! trees and the howling cave and the spooky shadow and okay I might be scared I I didn't want you to know I was trying to be brave well John if spending the night chasing after a helpless dinosaur when you're scared isn't brave then I don't know what is besides you've been helping us be brave all night and now it's our turn to help you you're right let's go save that dino it's okay. We've got this. That's not a Spookosaurus. <gasps> it's the baby Stego that ran off earlier. And that must be its mother. It was a cry for help. The glow jar is making shadow puppets appear, just like Pa did. Hmm. And the cave makes the baby's roar sound spookier than it really is. You were just howling because you got your foot stuck in this rock, weren't you? <laughs> <sighs> I guess the Spookosaurus wasn't real after all. <laughs> 